This is video number six. It's about how to get fixed and random summary effect sizes using generic input with metaphor and R. To get the overall summary, metaphor uses inverse variance weights to combine the effect sizes from the different studies. You can specify a fixed effects or common effects analysis or a random that is varying effects analysis. And if you choose a random effects, then you have a bunch of different methods that you can use for estimating the random effects variance component. And if you choose different methods, you're going to get different estimates of the RABC, and that's going to give you different weights and thus different summaries and confidence intervals and so forth. The method statements specifies both fixed or random and which REVC estimator you want. The effect sizes that you input to Metaphor may be transformed by the program in various ways, and the measure option tells Metaphor what transformations you want. For um, a really simple example, um, uh, it's a generic random effects model, and it's going to be using a restricted maximum likelihood uh, algorithm to estimate the REVC. So this is just the defaults. To do this, you just input y sub i, that's the effect size for each study, and v sub i, that's the sampling variance for each study, and then the name of the data set. So Metaphor thinks that uh, y sub i means generic effect size, and v sub i means generic variance. So you can substitute or equal any name that you like for the input variable. So you could say y sub i equals d, y sub i equals capital D little i, y sub i equals gym socks, or whatever you want, whatever came out of your Excel data sheet, that's uh, going to be a generic um, effect size if it's y sub i equals whatever it is. So a uh, metaphor is going to uh, compute the overall summary for you and then you tell R to print the result. So uh, I'm going to illustrate this with data from McNatt and you can see the um, citation there. And so I'm going to call up R and run it. So here's R and uh, I have prepared a script to run that I'm going to run in pieces and then talk about what each piece means. So edit, execute. Okay, so R is working away and um, so it's about um, how to get random and fixed effects for R and D. We load the library for metaphor, we load the library for XLSX so we're going to input data sets if we don't already have them. I want one called rocks. I want one called appetite. Got some other data already in here. Uh, all right, but the first thing I want to do is uh, run this McNatt item. Edit. Execute. Okay, so um, here's the McNatt data. So there are 17 effect sizes. You see the, the names for the studies the number in the treatment, the number of control, the um, size of the effect is in a column called D. Uh, this is um, how, how potent the uh, Pygmalion effect is. So when uh, people are told that these folks are going to be great employees, how much better do they do on the job? Um, these are military, these are civilian. That's my moderator. Here's the variance that I computed knowing D and the, these two things. All right, so to run the analysis, I, I say here's my output, McNet results one gets RMA. So RMA is the um, metaphor program. Y sub i equals D. So this is my generic effect size, and I find it in D. V sub i, my generic variance, I find in V. And the data is McNet dat, which is this little guy here. Okay, and it runs, and then I say I want you to print McNatt uh, results, and it says, okay, there's 17 studies. My estimator for tau squared for random effects is restricted maximum likelihood. Uh, my value of tau is about 0.82. My i square is about 95. <laughs> so this is a really heterogeneous data set. Um, my estimate uh, is about uh, 1.11 for my overall uh, effect size D, and uh, my confidence interval goes from about 68 to about one and a half. Then, um, if you want a fixed effects, you would say just FE, where it's method. So I put nothing in that last one, but you can put method, and then something, one of the things is FE for fixed. 
If you want random, then you say method equals, and then you choose one of these. So HS is Hunter and Schmidt, HE is Hedges, DL is Dersimonian and Laird, SJ is Siddick and Yankman. Sorry guys, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. ML is for maximum likelihood, REML is for restricted maximum likelihood, and EB is for Bay. So you can pick one of these. All right, so now I'm going to show you um, McNatt again. But this time I'm going to do random effects with uh, Dersimonian and Laird instead of restricted maximum likelihood. And then I'm going to run the thing one more time, but I'm going to do fixed effects instead. So uh, Magnat results 2 gets RMA, Y sub I is D again, V sub I is V again, method equals Dersimonian and Laird, data is the same data. And now I say print Magnat res 2, and it says random effects. Still, so we got 17 effect sizes, and now the estimator is DL instead of REML. Um, tau squared is uh, 46, tau is 68, I squared is 92, estimate is 1.09, and it's um, 73 to about 1.46. So um, we went from restricted maximum likelihood to Dersimony and Laird. In the REML, we have tau of 82. And we got a smaller tab of 68 here. We have a similar um, overall effect size estimate, so 1.11 versus 1.09. And this one goes from 68 to 1.5. This one goes from 73 to about 1.46. Actually, that's 1.53. So um, this uh, estimate is wider because you have a bigger value of tau there. All right. So, but. The overall effect size is uh, similar, and they're both very, very uh, heterogeneous studies. All right, now for the third analysis of McNatt's data, I've asked it to do method equals FE, or fixed effects. And you see I've got the same number of studies, but this time it doesn't say whatever the estimator is, because it doesn't estimate the tau squared. And its estimate is 93, and it has a confidence interval from about 85 to one point oh. One. So when you run the fixed effects, you really lose the idea that uh, you have tremendous heterogeneity. Sorry, and it's kind of interesting. The confidence limits here for the fixed don't include the estimate you get for the random. So they're a little different there. So this video is about uh, generic input. Uh, Metaphor has built in command called measure equal and it doesn't work if you use generic input. So if you use generic input you um, you compute the transformation you want if any and you tell metaphor to use that effect size by saying y sub i equals whatever it is you computed. And metaphor doesn't know, doesn't care uh, what effect size that is. So it can be z, it can be r, it can be anything you want. Um, but you have to be sure that the effect size and the variance are in the same metric. So if you're using z, then you need to use the variance of z. If you're using log odds, then you need to have the variance in log odds. If you're using odds, then you have to have the variance in odds. Um, if you use generic input, you have to, uh, again, transform the uh, results that metaphor gives you if you want a transformation. So if you did the analysis in Z and you want to present the results in R, then you have to do the transformation back after the program is done running. If you computed things with a generic input in log odds, then the analysis is done in log odds and the output is in log odds. And if you want to report in odds, then you've got to transform that back. Um, you can't do that with measure. On the other hand, if you use the preferred formats, which I'm going to talk about in the next couple of uh, videos, then uh, you can tell Metaphor that you want to analyze Z when you input R, or you want to analyze log odds when you input odds, and so forth. So that's it for this video.